So, a few days ago, I spent two nights at Disneyland Paris. This doesn't sound like a lot, but after two days of walking, queuing, more walking and uh, more queuing, you start to feel a little drain. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Who couldn't be happy to wander around such a magical place as Disneyland, where everything is designed to bring your imagination to life? Forget children, this is a nerd's dream. It is also a place where, for some unknown reason, people like to dress the same while walking around. I won't judge for that, but I am definitely judging for the amount of smokers in the Paris Park. What better way to walk through the most magical place on earth than in a cloud of cancer-causing smoke? However, as I walk around the park, I stop noticing the magic and wonder of the themed restaurants, the film characters brought to life, and the theatrical music blasting out from seemingly nowhere. What I noticed is that no one is alone at Disneyland. What I notice is mums and dads holding hands with their children, couples strolling through the park in love, friends having fun and laughs together. Disneyland is made out to be a place that brings magic to life, but from where I stand, Disneyland is a place where the people bring the magic with them. Disneyland is just a candle. The people, young and old, are what light it up and make it shine. After all, fireworks aren't so enchanting when no one is around to watch them. <laughs>